Hello. We are going to place a special focus on the spine mobility in this class today. So let's begin the class. Let's have ourselves standing in the middle of a mat with the feet parallel positioned, nice and tall, and then place your hand just on the front of your thigh, softening the knees, taking in breath, exhale as you roll the spine down. So roll down halfway towards the floor. Now, here we're going to inhale, lengthening the tailbone out, lengthening the spine, going to a little cat stretch here. Exhale, rounding the spine again, and roll up through the spine. In breath. Exhale, roll down, softening the knees, halfway down. Inhale, lengthening the spine, sitting the pelvis back, and maybe take ourselves to our upper back extension. Exhale, rounding the back, and roll up through the spine. In breath, two more times. Exhale, roll down. And lengthening through the spine and taking our upper body into an extension. And exhale, rounding. And up. One more. And down through the spine. Inhale. Arch. And then softening, rolling up and standing up tall. Now we roll down again and lengthen the spine to a neutral spine position here. Now like you too, we're going to do the wagger tail. So bring the pelvis to the right and look towards the right shoulder and center. To the left, so wag your left tail and center. Wag your tail to the right and center. So we are introducing a lateral flexion, a side bending in the spine here, and center, and left, and center, and right, and center, and left, and center. Pelvis to the right, look to the right shoulder, and then left, one more each side, right, and then left, and center, rounding the back and roll up through the spine, standing nice and tall. Okay, let's take ourselves down to the floor, cross the legs, hands on the knee. Now, sitting on the pelvis, we're just gonna move our rib cage here. So, bring your ribs forward and over to your right and round back and just making a circular movement through the rib cage, bring it to extension, a lateral flexion, and a lateral and forward extension. Three more times. Inhale, go wild, explore your range of motion, and one more, and bring it to a stillness. Switch your leg. And over to the other side, forward, and to your left, and back, and forward, and again, in breath, just breathe in and breathe out, as you wish, as long as you breathe. Two more. And last one. and bring it back to the center. Arms out to the side. And side bend yourself to your right. And top arm over, softening your body down to the floor for lateral stretch. Inhale, lengthen up, and come back up over to your left. And exhale, arm over. Inhale, lengthening up. Exhale, and again, in breath. Exhale, lengthen tall, and in breath, exhale, inhale, 
switch the legs. Again, two more sets in breath. And in breath. Last set. Last one here. And let it go. Well done. Let's face the front of the mat. Half your feet parallel position and the knees bend in a larger, rather large angle. Hands underneath the thigh, sitting up nice and tall here, in breath. Exhale as we round our back and roll back till the arms are straightened. You may also dorsiflex the feet here if they're uncomfortable with your ankle. Exhale, bring your body forward, lift the spine. Now pull the elbows back and take the upper back, the thoracic into an extension or high release and center. Round back, elbows go wide, roll back and come forward. Lift through the spine, elbows pull back and high release, extension. And upright, exhale, in breath. Exhale, come forward, up, inhale, high release, and come back, in breath, roll back, high release, and come back, center, and round back, and roll back and let's take ourselves right down to the floor here. Bring the feet closer towards the bottom, setting ourselves for a pelvic curl. Feet are hip width distance apart, parallel position, arms down by the side, chest is opened, long arms, long neck, grounded pelvis. We in breath. Exhale as we use the abdominal muscle to imprint the spine down, curl the pelvis, press the feet, roll through the spine, coming up to that bridging position. And spreading the toes down to the floor, anchoring the big toes, you have the inner thighs nice and active. Exhale, roll down through the spine, imprinting every single vertebra down and release the pelvis at end. In breath. Exhale. We roll up, nice and juicy here, in breath. Exhale, we roll down and lengthen the pelvis. And one more like so, exhale, roll up through the spine, open the chest, in breath. Exhale, roll down through the spine and release. Now, three more times, we're going to do a little different here. Exhale, roll up. Float the arms up overhead. Keep the arms there. Exhale, roll down through the spine, keeping the arms actively reaching away from the spine as you roll the spine down. Bring the pelvis back to your starting position, neutral position. Exhale, roll up. In breath. Exhale. Roll down and neutral pelvis. Last one here. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. Long neck, long spine, and neutral pelvis. Well done. Bring the thighs together. Glide your arms up out to the T position by the side of the shoulders. Inhale as we spine twist ourselves to the right or towards me. Exhale, return yourself back to the center. Inhale over to the other side. Exhale, center. Making sure the legs travel together as one unit. 
Exhale, through the center, you pull the legs back. Inhale. We rotate. Exhale. Anchoring the shoulders down to the floor as we rotate through the waistline. And in breath. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale, rotate to the left. Now hold that rotation. Bring the right arm up through to the ceiling and bring yourself over to a side facing. Just readjust the pelvis. All right. Now here, we're going to do a windmill arm. So stack the legs still. Take the top arm up over. Trail the floor with your hands in a circular motion. And bring the arm forward again. And stay down to the floor as much as you can. And follow your head through with the arms. And one more this direction as you in breath, reach far away from your shoulder and come back. Stack up the arms, let's reverse the direction. We go down and through overhead and forward in front of you two more times. We go down to the pelvis and overhead and one more. Down and overhead and forward with stay. Take the right arm up to the ceiling and rotate our body back to a supine position. Readjust the pelvis and rotate to the right, bringing the left arm through. We face the other way. We may be facing away from each other here, guys. All right, we'll be fine. We're going to go down with the left arm and Overhead, two more times. Inhale, trail the floor with your fingertips. And just use your breath to move the spine, to move the arms. Inhale, have a sense of easiness and openness as we rotate. And come back to center the other way. Take the arm overhead and open down to the floor, inhale in front of you, overhead, exhale, inhale, last one in front of you, exhale, overhead, and bring it back in front of you, take the left arm up to the ceiling, and bring yourself back to the center, square on the floor, interlacing the hands, Underneath the hip. All right, have your feet hip width distance apart. Let's go to your chest lift here. So we breathe out and lifting the chest. In breath, hold. Exhale, return. Exhale, as we scoop the belly in, we bring the upper chest forward. In breath. Exhale, and down. Three more times. In breath. Exhale. Two more. In breath. Last one. Okay, let's come up again. Exhale. Reach your arm straight. Place your hands underneath the thigh. Hold that chest lift. Reach the arm in front of you. Let's add the rotation. Exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Two more sets and last set, last one and center, arms behind your head and release yourself down. Excellent. Stretch your legs down.
on the floor. Stretch out, legs together, point your feet, take your arms overhead. Now allow the rib to settle down on the floor. We inhale for the roll up, lift the head and the chest up. Exhale, so if you pull the belly in, we bring ourselves up and over into that C curve. In breath. Exhale, we roll our spine down, starting from the pelvis, the lower spine, middle spine, upper spine, and take your arms overhead. If that's too challenging for you, you can also bend the knees here slightly. In in the leg and exhale you can bend the knees again and roll the pelvis back and then take your arms overhead if that's if the straight leg's not an issue for you but I like you to keep your legs straight inhale to lift exhale seeker in breath exhale roll back roll back roll back and take the arms overhead Two more times, please. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale. Seeker. In breath. Exhale. Roll back. And arms overhead. Last one. Inhale, chest lift. Exhale. Into the C curve. And in breath. Exhale. Roll back and take the arms overhead. Now we're going to transition ourselves to a sitting position. So we lift again, exhale, and to that C curve here. Tucking the knees up, bringing the feet closer to the bottom, ready for a rolling like a ball. Balancing on the tailbone here, rounding the back butt. Try to keep length in the spine. So you still want to activate your back muscle. And we go inhale, lock the shape. Use your arms to pull the legs together. Inhale, we roll to the shoulder. Exhale, come up and balance. And in breath. And exhale. Three more. And exhale. And two, exhale, and last, and exhale, feet down, well done. Stretch your legs forward for our spine stretch. Half your feet slightly wider than the pelvis here. Spine nice and long. You can even bend the knees a little bit if you feel a little tight on your hamstrings today, but I like it to keep the spine nice and tall. Take your arms forward. I'm going to stretch my legs today. Don't forget to dorsiflex your feet. In breath. Exhale as we roll down through the spine, forward and down. Now we inhale, lengthening through the spine. Nice and tall. Exhale as we round down again. We roll up, sitting nice and tall. Exhale, we roll down through the spine. Inhale, lengthening through the spine. Try to keep that back muscle working here. Exhale, round back down and roll up through the spine. Two more times. Exhale, we roll down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we round down. And roll up, tall. Exhale, we roll down. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we roll down. And lift up tall. Well done. Grab your ankle, please. We're going to do open leg rocker modified version. So grab the ankle long arms now engage your inner thigh so don't let your legs flop out to the side balancing on your tailbone here and keep the spine long now from here as you inhale transition yourself to a round back and roll through the spine like a ball and then come back balance into a long back and rounding back roll lifting up tall and we round in breath and lift up 
and we round in breath and then lift hold and we round and then lengthen up one more time we round and we're lifting lifting balancing and lower the feet down have your feet parallel hands behind you for a modified back support here chest is nice and open long spine as you breathe out press the feet lift the pelvis up to a good table position the neck is long too now we fold through the hips to lower the pelvis down and we'll lift up the pelvis opening the front of the chest opening the front of the hips and we fold through the hips we lower the pelvis down three more we'll lift the pelvis up and we lower the pelvis down two more we'll lift the pelvis up and we'll lower the pelvis down one more we'll lift the pelvis up and we'll lower the pelvis down and let it go all right turn your body facing me please forearm down on the floor engage the underneath waistline the bottom knee can be bent the top leg will be stretched lift the top arm behind your head for a leg or side kick dorsiflex and we go forward inhale exhale inhale two more last one now let's add the arm here as we swing the leg and arm together and inhale and 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 three and two last and come back to the center lower bend the knees come up to a mermaid position here take your arms out to the side long tall spine lean over towards your right side now pivot through the bottom shoulder and wipe the arm through across the floor reaching up tall and back facing me and come back up one more time lean over and and open and come back up let it go other side please onto the forearm okay top hand behind you okay we've got the side kick and then we're going to use the arm for the arm swing too okay activate the underneath waistline take the top leg up let's go forward inhale exhale and at the arm and 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 two more set last set reach through back to center bend the knee come up to a mermaid position nice and tall over to your left side lean away and exhale in breath out and come out again reach through and in breath out exhale and let it go all right let's go to our front please for a back extension exercises all right, arms along by the side. We're going to a nice, easy one here for our back extension. Legs straight together if possible. We inhale, glide your arms through, lifting the upper back, keep the gaze down to the floor, and exhale, we go down. And inhale, lifting. Exhale. 
Two more times. Inhale. Lifting. Exhale. One last here. Let's hold the extension. And stay. Open your arms side like an aeroplane wings. Turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the thumbs up for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then bend the elbows, place and stack up your hand underneath the forehead and then lower the chest down. I have my right hand on top of my left hand. Now keep the right hand with the forehead, lift the back up with the right arm and lengthen the left leg off for modified swimming and we lower them down inhale as we lift exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale one more Switching the hand. Inhale. Exhale. And exhale. Two more. And the last. Good work. Okay. Place the foot on by the side of your rib cage. Push the belly in. Push the floor away. And sit the pelvis down for a quick rest position. And then bring yourself onto a quadruped position for a cat stretch here with a little variation. So quadruped position, align the arms and the hand and the shoulders and the knee and the hip. We breathe out, we round the back, we hold that flexion. Now transfer the pelvis towards the heels for a deep flexion here. Bring the body over your hands and the knees, flat back and extend the upper back. And to neutral, rounding the back and bringing the pelvis down to the heels, rounding the back, flat back and upper back, extend. And rounding, pelvis down, stay in the flexion and rounding over the hips, sorry, over the knees and the hands, neutral spine, extended upper spine. One more time, please. Rounding and pelvis down to the heels. Stay in a flexion, scoop the belly in and shoulder over your hands and a neutral spine. Extend the upper back and release. Okay, come up on your knees and face me. Okay, arms up to the side here. Now tilt the body over towards your right side. Place the bottom hand down, stretch the top leg long. Take the top arm over and we're just gonna stay in the stretch. And inhale, energy through the top arm, energy through the bottom, the top leg, sorry. And an energy through the front of the bottom hip. Exhale, allow the body to soften. Inhale. One more. Taking the top arm up, bringing your body back to the center, and then taking the leg in. Over to the other side, please. And hand down, stretch the leg, and top arm over. Really try to work the hip extensors of the underneath thigh and pressing that pelvis forward. And inhale, reaching through the arm and the leg. Exhale, have a sense of softening through the joint. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale. And one more time. Exhale. Take the top arm up. 
and then come up and then let it go. All right, sit on the pelvis or sit on the heel. Okay, here we go. We're going to just pull the chest up and arch back. Elbows draw back to behind you and release. Two more times. Pull the elbows back, lengthen through the spine and arch back and release one more and pull the elbows back high release arch back and let it go and round the spine just for one time and lengthen through the spine and you are done for the day thank you for joining me i wish you a lovely day thank you